hello guys welcome to this new video so today i will not be doing the normal tutorials and i will be going a bit different from the normal way in which i do it and now we're going to be doing a python challenge it's something that um, i'm going to use to be able to show you how the thought process of solving some little little problems with um, codes or with programming languages so before me i have a um challenge which i've already written here i got this challenge from solo learn i like the way they brought it out and that's what made me actually say okay i want to do this um tutorial on how to do this so um the name of it is pig latin so they said you have two friends who are speaking pig latin to each other pig latin is the same words in the same order except that you take the first letter of each word and put it on the end and then you add a y to the back of the end so road is now going to be when you take r to the end and then add a y it's going to be like old ray that's just pig latin so what is the task your task is to take a sentence in english and turn it to the same sentence in pig latin take note they say a sentence in english so what's the input format um a string of the sentence sorry the input format should be a string of a sentence in english that i need to now translate in pidgin without any punctuation or capitalization then we also have um the output format it says a string of sentence in pig latin sample then this is an example where they said never mind you got it and then the sample output is that it's going to give you back ever mean Oh yeah, what 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 i don't know how to pronounce it but you get the um the stuff so if we have something like gotten so gotten in um in pig latin is going to give you um so we we'll take let's copy this over here so the way it's going to be we're going to take this g from here put it here i'm going to add a y so this is gotten in pig latin so now let's let's see the steps in doing this first as usual we'll need to create an input which is going to be taking the sentence and i'm going to create the variable sentence is equal to input um then we are just going to say something like enter sentence enter sentence then i'm going to put this i'm going to give a space where someone can write the sentence and throughout the example we're going to be using this never mind you got it to be able to do this so first of all when we get the sentence the next now that we've been able to get the sentence so we're going to first get the sentence so now that we've gotten the sentence let us do let's test where this works let's print sentence let's run it so it said enter sentence and let me just copy never mind you got it and paste it there i run it press enter so it's going to give us the same sentence so now we have the sentence what are we going to do we have to break down this sentence what do i mean by break down the sentence we have to make sure we can be able to get each word from each sentence and then maybe loop over each word and then try to rearrange it and then add it to a new um sentence and everything i feel should be okay so what's the next step we're going to separate each word now that we've been able now let us separate each word so um if we remember very um strings can also be treated as um lists sorry they can also be treated as lists and in a sense we always use them to perform a bit of what list can do so let me just show you what i mean so we have to convert this and take out each cent each let each word from it so to do that we simply say um let's just say sentence we create that same sentence is equal to sentence which was this previous one dot split so when we do dot split we're going to now pass what we call a delimiter which tells you when we are going to separate it so as you can see here it says the split method returns a list of words in string using separator as a delimiter sorry delimiter so the separator um, parameter are going to be passing the 
the parameter according to which the string none by default means split according to any white spaces and discard empty blah 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 this is what i mean so if we should do sentence on split and print sentence here we are going to get a list back let me print it out so let's let's paste this never mind we got it and as you can see we got each word back never mind you got it normally we can use split to say okay i want to split the word wherever we have i and what happens is that it's going to get each word as you can see let's paste this again wherever we have i it's now going to split each word where we have i so as long as we don't pass anything to it it's going to give us what it's going to give us when we put never mind it got it's going to give us each word so this is what we use to separate each word the sentence dot what split We've been able to get each word. But if you notice, if we check the type of this, so let's print type of we check which data type is currently in sentence. When we want to check um which type is currently there, we have a list. So sentence is no longer like a string, but now we have a list. So what do we do now? What we do is to simply use a for loop to go around the list so so i'll say for word and sentence now let's just print sentence i mean word let's print word first i'll comment this one below i'm going to do that we're going to enter the sentence again never mind you got it as you can see it was able to print each word now this is actually very good for the next thing that we're going to do now so now that we've been able to um get each word or separate each word and with the for loop we've been able to get each word let's now manipulate these words we have to manipulate the words together so how do we manipulate the word we get the first letter i'll say get first letter we are going to get the first letter by saying um first underscore letter is equal to word then we use the index and put zero if you know normally when dealing with list and uh, we put zero the in list it says get the first item when we are dealing with strings and we pass in zero as an index it's going to tell it's telling us to get the it's going to tell python to get the first letter so we use that to get the first letter then let's get the um remaining letters remaining letter which is going to be i'm going to do another sort of string slice and that's what they call it i'm going to say get the second letter which is number one remember python starts from zero so the first letter is going to be zero and then the second letter is going to be one so we're going to say get from one till infinity that means till the end when we don't pass anything here we are going to just get the remaining letters of the word so um let me just do a break here so that's so only print one for us so if i should run this code and do never mind you got it oh we didn't print <laughs> sorry let me just show you what i mean so i'm going to print um first letter and we're also going to print remaining letter so i'm going to run this and just do it why i did the break is that so it won't run for long so as you can see the first letter is n and the second letter for never mind is ever mind so now we have the first letter and the last letter let's now use them together to form a new word so let's say pig latin pig underscore latin is equal to first letter no sorry remaining letter plus first letter plus remember we always have to have an ay at the end ay so this is how we're able to um, convert it remaining letter plus first letter plus a y so now let's just print pig latin and see what we get pig latin um i run this code it said enter sentence 
So as you can see, it gave us ever mind nay. Let's compare it to what we got here before. As you can see, ever mind nay. So it's actually the same. That means this is actually working here. And this is great. So let's remove this brick so that it actually does for the entire um, words in the in the um what's the name <laughs> in the sentence so let's run it again enter sentence never mind you got it so each word when converted to pig latin is now uh going to give us this but now there's a problem this wouldn't work because this is not in a sentence we gave it a sentence but now it is giving us each val variable i mean each word as a single entity which is not what we want so let me let me comment here and say converting to pig latin so yes so where we are now is that we have to find a way to convert we have to find a way to convert we are going to say convert um each word to a sentence now take note one thing i always say in programming is that there are different ways to achieve one thing there might be an easier way than this and there might be a more difficult way than this but for me this was one of the first things that came to my mind if you have another easier way to do it you can put in the comments down and that is fine but for me at the moment let's just um go with this so we are going to um, convert each word to a sentence. How do we do that? First of all, my own way of doing it is that I will first create an empty string. So I'm going to create a variable, name it empty string. I'm just going to put our double quotes. Nothing is going to be inside. So what happens is that because we're in a for loop, what I will simply do is that I'm going to say empty string plus equal to plus equal to um we are going to say pig latin plus the space now what this thing does is that at the end of everything at the end of the for loop take note i declare this outside so that it won't be because if you put it inside the for loop what is going to happen is going to be overwriting this um string um what's the name it's going to be overwriting string empty string every time so let's go outside the for loop now and print i'm going to now print um empty string let's not say empty string let's call it final result so um in vs in visual studio code you can just press f2 and change the variable to something else final result press enter so it changes it in every instance it was given so at the moment let us print this and see what we we'll get now that we are trying to what happens is that it's going to take after converting that specific word to a after converting that specific word to a pig latin word it's now going to add that word to the final result uh, variable and give it the space we concatenated this with this and then it adds both of them to here so let's try to run this let's enter sentence never mind you got it so as you can see it actually gave us ever mind how he well cash cash what, what, what i don't know whatever it does so this one works very very fine like this is already completed but there might be a little issue especially when you are testing out this code because remember we are adding an extra space at the end of each word that means the last word is also going to have what an extra space which is actually bad for our program because it's not giving you the exact thing you want so that is very very easy to solve in python so what we just simply do is say final result is equal to final result dot strip now what strip does is to remove all white spaces 
so what do i mean by white space a white space is something like this so you can have a variable like this and then at the end of it you see a space like this this is wrong this is called a white space and we want to remove it any space that big that starts our sentence or ends our sentence is a white space and we don't need it in our code so here is a white space here it's another white space which is not something that we'll need so i remove that there and i think our code is fine to go our code is fine to go so let me save this very save this then let's run this one more time enter sentence never mind you got it so this works very great now let's um try to use another sentence um welcome to okay we learn python every day as you can see it gave us a sentence in big latin let's try another one it's um let's try um i let's say please like and subscribe yes like and subscribe this video if you like what you're learning press enter and as you can see this is please like and subscribe in pig latin so in case you don't understand english you can also understand pig latin but please like and subscribe your subscribe your subscription means a lot sorry my mole is stumbling on my words recently your subscription means a lot even if it doesn't mean a lot to you but yes that click of a button means a lot to me and to support me to make more videos for you so as you can see we've been able to give them exactly what they want never mind you've got it will give you ever mind or yeah or whatever they call it and we got exactly what they needed in a particular logic i feel it's okay i mean by i said this is not the might not be the best way to solve it there might be other methods of solving it it might be a method of solving it in a single sentence i do not know that yet but at the moment this is the method i know works for me or i thought of later on i could think of something even easy in fact i was coding this right now i now remember that there is another easier way to do it but as it is right now it's what i have on ground so that's all for this video see you guys in the next video like and subscribe for more bye